Number 12. The saber-toothed tiger has been a primary candidate for scientists who are looking to bring extinct animals back into the circle of life. The saber-toothed tiger was an ambush predator that specialized in big game hunting 10,000 years ago. Camels, horses, and a small woolly mammoths were all on the menu. Today, the La Brea tar pits contain many mammal fossils, including those of the 670 pound prehistoric cat. Scientists believe that the fossils in the tar pits will be the key to the saber-toothed tiger's cloning. It's not clear why we'd want to have them around again, but one thing is for sure. Having this apex predator walking around again would certainly make life on Earth a bit more intense. Number 11. Scientists are on the verge of resurrecting the woolly mammoth. The bodies of these massive creatures have been found frozen in ice and preserved for thousands of years. One of the benefits of animals that lived in sub-freezing temperatures. The woolly mammoth could grow up to 11 feet tall, and its curved tusks could get up to 10 feet long. Scientists want to use these preserved bodies to bring the mammoths back, Jurassic Park style. It's a field of science known as synthetic biology. Scientists would splice the genes of the woolly mammoth with those of the Asian elephant, which is its closest living relative and shares 99% of its DNA. Number 10. The elephant bird was accurately named. Standing at 9.8 feet tall and weighing up to 1,600 pounds, this phenomenal fowl was at the top of the pecking order. The elephant bird was native to Madagascar, and it went extinct likely due to human activity around the year 1200. But the giant elephant bird of Madagascar could be resurrected after scientists discovered how to extract DNA from an ancient eggshell. Scientists have found that DNA recovered from eggshells is as good as DNA from bones or hair. With any luck, after 800 years of extinction, this mighty elephant bird may roam the earth again. Pop quiz, hot shot! <laughs> Back in 1996, for the first time ever, scientists successfully cloned a mammal. Do you know what type of animal they cloned? See if you can put the right answer in the comment section below, and stay tuned till later on in the video to see if you're right. Number 9. The Tasmanian tiger, also known as the thylacine, once lived across Australia and New Guinea. The last known tiger passed away in the Hobart Zoo in 1936. But the good news is that the Tasmanian tiger is on science's de-extinction list. Fun fact about the Tasmanian tiger is that it was a marsupial, which means that they carried their young in pouches just like kangaroos. When the Tasmanian tiger was still around, 13 pouch pups were preserved in alcohol and formaldehyde. The Melbourne Museum has one of these samples, and a team at the University of Melbourne announced in 2017 that they had successfully sequenced its entire genome. This DNA might be the critical blueprint that allows scientists to resurrect the entire species. Optimistic estimates are that we may be seeing this unique animal back in the wild in one to two decades. Number 8. The southern gastric brooding frog went extinct in the mid-1980s, and now science wants to bring it back, if for nothing else than for pure enjoyment. The gastric brooding frog wasn't assigned its name at random. It was called that because it gave birth from the mouth. <laughs> its eggs would be laid into the mouth and travel down to the stomach. The stomach would then become a uterus where the eggs would incubate. When the eggs hatched into tadpoles, they would remain in the stomach uterus until they matured into tiny frogs, at which point they'd birth themselves from the mama's mouth. In 2013, researchers successfully grew embryos that contained the revived DNA of this frog. They accomplished this by inserting the dead material from the extinct frog into donor eggs from a living species. The eggs continued to grow into embryos. This is the first time such a technique was achieved with an extinct species. Continued analysis proved that the cells from the extinct frog were multiplying, which means that one day we may get to see this anomalous animal's reproduction once again. Oh snap! 
I just said the word of the day, anomalous. Anomalous means deviating from what's standard, normal, or expected. Think of the word anomaly. Good synonyms would be abnormal or atypical. See if you can use anomalous in a sentence in the comment section below, and we'll feature the person with the most creative phrase in our next video. Number seven. Back in 2015, a man named Sasha was out hunting in Siberia. He was near a riverbank when he discovered something spectacular frozen in the ice. The remains of a baby woolly rhino that had been frozen for at least 10,000 years. The woolly rhino was a prehistoric tank. These things could weigh up to 6,000 pounds and their horns could grow up to two feet long. After its discovery, the woolly popsicle was brought to the Yakushin Academy of Sciences. After extracting some DNA, scientists believe that the closest living relative to the woolly rhino is the Sumatran rhinoceros, and that they may be able to clone the woolly by using a hybrid of the two. Number six. In their heyday, the Caspian tiger could be found in Turkey and through much of Central Asia. This robust and formidable feline was one of the largest cats to ever walk the planet. It could weigh up to 500 pounds. It grew 10 feet long from nose to tail and used to bat around wild boar for fun. They went extinct back in the 1960s and now science wants to bring them back. A new study published in the Journal of Biological Conservation lays out the plan to reintroduce the tigers. For cloning, scientists would use a subspecies, the Siberian tiger, which is genetically similar to the Caspian. The process of bringing back these tigers could take more than 10 years, but it's looking like soon this cat will be able to cash in one of its nine lives. Number five. The mountain goat known as the Bucardo lived in the Spanish mountains before officially becoming extinct in 2000. The familiar culprits of overhunting and habitat destruction are to blame. But what's awesome is that the Bucardo has the honor of being the first ever extinct animal to be resurrected by cloning. Scientists were able to take frozen skin cells, create an embryo, and after many failed insemination attempts, a female goat finally gave birth to a calf that originated from a cloned egg. Unfortunately, the calf lived for only seven minutes, and that was due to a lung defect. Lead scientist Jose Falk said his team plans to try cloning another Bucardo soon. He told reporters, quote, we're not especially disappointed for the death of the cloned newborn. We will try to improve the technology in order to increase the efficiency of the cloning process." End quote. Number four. Scientists are close to bringing back the Arux, the fearsome European cattle breed that was last seen in the 1600s. The Oryx curved horns, powerful body, and bad temper made it a formidable foe for prehistoric hunters. Now scientists are edging closer to the long-held dream of bringing back one of Europe's most impressive beasts. The Oryx was driven to extinction by the 17th century, with the last known specimen dying in Poland in 1627. Now researchers are working through a process known as backbreeding. Backbreeding entails selectively mating existing breeds of primitive cattle which retain much of the ancient Oryx DNA. Professor Donato Matassino, an Italian scientist working on the project, stated, quote, I don't think we'll ever be able to create an animal that is 100% like the Oryx, but we can get very close, end quote. Number three. Up next is the Irish elk. Its name is misleading because technically it was a deer. What makes this creature stand out is its size. It was the largest deer species ever. Its shoulders grew up to seven feet tall and its antlers grew up to 12 feet wide. It also didn't just live in Ireland. So whoever named this thing really dropped the ball. The Irish elk ranged throughout Europe, Northern Asia, and Northern Africa. Unable to adapt to the subarctic conditions of the last glacial period, the Irish elk became extinct over 11,000 years ago. Because there are so many well-preserved fossils of this deer, it's a great candidate for scientists experimenting with the cloning process. It's answer time. 
Back in 1996, scientists over in Scotland successfully cloned a sheep. They named it Dolly, and it was the first mammal to have been cloned from an adult cell. She went on to have four lambs of her own and eventually passed away in 2002. If you find yourself in Scotland and you want to get out of the rain, you can swing by the National Museum of Scotland, where Dolly is stuffed and on display. Number two. The heath hen once lived in coastal North America up until 1932. Apparently, these things were delicious, and they were likely the centerpiece of the pilgrims' first Thanksgiving dinner. Because they were easy to hunt and good to eat, early settlers practically ate all of them. In 2014, the research group Revive and Restore named the heath hen one of its de-extinction projects. They believe that we now have the technology to fully restore the heath hen DNA. The group is currently focused on genome research, which is the first phase of a three-step process. Once they've genetically rebuilt the DNA, they'll move on to reviving the animal and then finally restoring it to its natural environment. With a little luck, this organization's efforts will end in the triumphant return of the heath hen. Number one. Perhaps the most famous of all the extinct animals is the dodo bird. According to Beth Shapiro, a scientist at Oxford University, quote, dodos were essentially fat pigeons, end quote. The accounts from early explorers described these flightless birds as stupid and clumsy. This may have been due to the dodo not having any natural predators. Because they lived with no fear of attack, the dodo had no reason to develop strong survival instincts or evasive skills. The dodo may soon be reborn if scientists could locate enough DNA to create a clone that could be implanted in the eggs of its closest modern relative, pigeons. Recently, DNA samples have been retrieved at the Oxford Museum of Natural History. Scientists hope that this new DNA could lead to the cloning of a new dodo that will be almost identical to those that went extinct 100 years ago. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, you'll love the one we did on animals that went extinct in the last century. You can check that out right there. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out. Be sure to check back soon for a new video, and we'll see you next time.